Welcome to another episode. This is your boy B. This is the Barber Spotlight, and we're going to put the spotlight on Toya Cuts. So with that said, let's get right into it. Whenever I'm approaching their head or beard, I first look and evaluate their, their scalp and their skin just to see what it is that I'm going to be servicing. That tells me a lot, especially if their skin is dry. It kind of let me know like what their day-to-day -day routine is. They're probably not taking care of their skin at home. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to use. And so then that means I'm going to have to be educating them while I'm servicing them through the process. Making sure the skin is properly moisturized is, a ma is the best thing that, thing that people don't really understand how important it is. So if your skin is nice and soft, that allows the hair to not, you know, kind of go crazy as it's trying to grow out of the skin. Put in moisture onto the scalp before I shave a bald head, then applying a hot towel to make the hair stand up. Now you go and put the shaving gel on it to make the blade glide across the scalp without it being like friction. So now you're now everything is moving smoothly because you're putting a proper moisture onto the scalp and making it a lot easier for yourself. So I have the aloe vera plant in my shop. I always want to involve, you know, natural things. When I put the hot towel on it with the vitamin E oil, that is very helpful because you like are doing like a double process at that point. What I like to do is, you know, mas use my massager, you know, and mas like just massage your head. So once everything is done with the ball head and it's all moisturized, I then clean the beard, you know, and then I want to put some steam into it, you know, all that good stuff. Then I'm going to trim your beard. As a child, I've always had a knack for hair. I would go to sleep and I would have dreams on how I want to create somebody's hair and I'd wake up and I'd do it on my my dolls and my mom saw it was serious and so I started doing, everybody believed in me. Like when I was 11, I had clientele. My mom's friend ended up telling me my pastor has a hair school. Well, he's big in Indianapolis, still is big in Indianapolis, Kenny's barber. Went up there, I'm thinking I'm about to get into the cosmetology program. He says our cosmetologist just left us, but we have barbering. I'm like, Bar I don't know the first thing about a clipper. I've never held one. I still remember the first time I had my clippers in my hand, like it was yesterday, and remember holding these clippers so scared. I was doing a ball head. I was doing a ball head. Somebody's let me practice on them. And my parents always encouraged me to be in this career. I want people to, what, I, even what I've heard people say to me is, Toy, whatever you put your mind to, you always do it. I noticed that people feel like they have a hard time doing it for themselves. And what I desire is to show people that you can do it too. And to show them like how at times my mind was weak. Life can sometimes cripple you or you don't really know how to, you know, bounce back from it. So I hope that people can see uh, with me that, you know, anything is possible. <laughs>